dad produced videos back with a minecraft video mark allen here how you doing huh <laughs> hey this is uh minecraft 1.3 no 1.13.1 um and i they've just recently came out with some uh optifine for this version and this is beta 6 i believe so how's everybody doing? Uh, between being busy and not not being super healthy, uh, I haven't made any videos and been uh, doing more spiritual stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm going to play some Minecraft. And I didn't think this version was going to be all that great, the aquatic update. But it turns out it's a really, really good update. Really good. So... I've been playing way too much and not recording anything, so here we are. We are recording a video, and uh, this is my original little hole in the mountainside. I did get an enchantment system set up, and this was my home. <laughs> I did have some brewing and some chests and chests over there, storage system. And there's my mine down here. Looks like it goes into the sky. Oh, okay. It's dire, right? <laughs> I have a villager over here. Been healing uh, zombie villagers, but I, I can't get any more to sp seem to spawn lately. So, uh, so I packed up a bunch of chests, moved out because I've shown my boy Zach. Hello, Zach, Zachary, Zach, um, and hello to uh, Anita, the one that used to play with uh, me on servers on different games. So, hello to her. I haven't talked to her in a long time. So I was uh, showing him he wanted to see my house. He's like, let me see your house. And I'm like, well, this is kind of it. <laughs> a hole in the mountain and some wood and some cobble and everything I need. Some enchantments. And some... That was an AFK. Cheaty fishing right here is what I have here. Moved it to. And so since he was disappointed in my house, he said it's not very homey or it's not, not that great. So I built that over there dad court <laughs> anyway it's just uh something i threw together this is my cowinator i have recently gathered steaks thank you for your steaks this is a chickenator lamo thing oh if i put those torches on these blocks and turn on that switch it'll fire my eggs and get me some chickens and they lay eggs and it regathers them so right now I've got four or five stacks of chicken and so I moved over there this is my horse coop that's gonna go because I've got leashes now I have found a swamp uh, there's one back over there and there's one way off in the distance got a few slime balls this uh, recently just added us today um, it's from I don't know who exactly I can't remember who came up with the data pack but I know it's being used on a hermit craft and uh, so basically I set this in place and I built the armor stand representation it, it allows you to manipulate armor stands gives you a little more poses and you can actually make them invisible and and hide the base give them arms stuff like that so I set that I'll go, kind of go over that. There's a map up there. I've been mapping out north to south quite a bit of stuff. Just running around and holding maps. I've got sheeps over there. We've got a farm here for, for emeralds. Been selling to that farmer. That's a farmer. So this is kind of cool. Glass. Uh, over there I stripped some oak. Took the bark off. And this is stripped birch with some birch wood. Some bone blocks because I have a skelly grinder over the side of that mountain found it caving of course and so I just came up with this design and everything's based on half slabs in there so there's no spawning areas this is a little three deep pit I don't know why that's in there that the lava whatever that's called those lava blocks <laughs> um, with string and carpet over so if it's three deep the zombies just Go, uh, 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 I can't get across I'm afraid I'll fall so they won't go in there 
so it's safe from them beating down the doors because I have two more villagers in here and I've actually got another one over there. So I've gotten four so far. But I'm going to have to take one of these guys and transport it over to where that other guy is so I can make a villager breeder. So I've been playing quite a bit without recording and just because it's fun. Fun. I got a brewing system set up. Uh, another enchanter. That's the K the chest to my AFK fishing, which is up above there. This is recessed down because I have that. An aquarium with one fish and some uh, coral in there. Kind of cool. There's my AFK fishery. And this, I can go over this book right here. You guys might have seen this, you might not. Uh, it's called Statues. Oh, there it is, by Stick God. Statues version 2. So it's manipulative. Manipu you can manipulate. <laughs> so let's check the target. You look at it. Uh, triggered. Check the target again. There we go. So now you can edit these things. So I want to show the base plate. No, that disappeared. Uh, we want to small stand, yes, make it tiny. Okay, so don't want that. Let's move all this on here so we can. It looks like a little, when it's little like this, it kind of looks like a baby zombie. Almost identical to a baby zombie. <laughs> Without a face and without arms. Okay, so now we can do this though. Um, show arms. Sure. Bam. Now we got arms. So we can do this with him. Bam. Give him a little sword. Cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to go back to this. And let's just give him a pose. You, automatic uh, poses here. Are pretty cool. So we'll do. Uh, hmm. He's joyous. No, that's dumb. That is not joyous. He's jumping in the air supposedly, but we'll make him confident. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He's kind of looking up. Confident. Um, how about you give me my s no sword? My sword. Mm, no. How do I get my sword back? Uh, uh, there we go. Sheesh. Yeah, this can be all that back. We're done with that. <laughs> that I take that off. Um, I mean that's my armor stand for AFK fishing. So I'm standing here and uh, it's not XP is not going to my armor. So I've got mending out the yin yang because I long ways from here. Let's go look. Let's find it. Been mapping like crazy. Like I said, I've got villages down here. We are right here, right in the middle of that map, basically. So there's my little lake, and way down south there's two villages, but way up north, well, right here there's village there. That might be the portal. There's two villages right there and there, and that is the end. I found the end portal. Haven't been in the end yet, so that's why I started recording. I want to go kill dragon and you know go find some wings and shulkers and stuff. So up here, let's climb up there. Up here, I noticed um, somewhere in this area there might be a uh, ocean monument. Because when I was mapping out, I saw some uh, lights that were in a line right over here somewhere. Uh, way up here, I was mapping out. I found three more villages. And so when I find them, I just add a bunch of doors and leave. Put lights up everywhere. Kind of fix the village. So that's north to south. That is north, I believe. And south the other way. I'm going to jump down here. Show you some more stuff. 
Oh, I've got these over here. I hardly ever use them. That's an up Vader, up an elevator, and this is a down one. That gives you a little damage. This one zips you right back up. This one zips you back down. Take a little hit. This is a smeltinator. Nothing. Nothing too cool. Uh, like I said, one of these guys is going to go because I don't want all this, uh, all this mess here. Let me get rid of it. This is going to be a down elevator to my giant basement. So um, these guys tend to attract zombies, and, and that's how I've been getting more to heal. I've put this guy into action. This guy's face palming. So I just kind of thought that was cool. You could add uh, arms, and they can hold weapons, and and add a little action. And you can even hide these armor stands and just make it look like something floating. And I've seen some cool stuff. Went in the nether, got those. Um, nether, my nether is terrible. It's got this, to head north, I think it is. It's just nothing but lava lake. I mean, ocean, basically. I got a bunch of stuff out here. Let's go out. There's my portal. Over here, that's going to be my zombie, no, villager breeder. Got one villager over there right now. Um, I, as soon as I get two and give them a bunch of food, they should start breeding due to the new mechanics. This is a cacti farm. It's over, I don't know four days of real time. I don't know how many hours it's created that. It's enough. It'll keep making some and uh, good for dying glass and blocks and stuff. That is uh, designed by Cub Fan 135 I believe his number is um, on the Hermitcraft server. It's a uh, Kelpinator. <laughs> uh, there goes Kelp right into those hoppers. So the kelp grows three high, it, it kicks the piston and, uh, whoa, I'll take that and that and that. Uh, kicks the top two layers off and leaves the bottom layer to grow. We could jump in here, I guess, if we want. Do we want? Uh, let's see, we got, so we have, um, at the bottom there's just a row of blocks, but then there's a row of kelp, there's a row of blocks, piston, observers. And you just keep repeating that and staggering them back. So so down here I've got, there's a kind of an updraft there, neat. It's good. So down here I've got this with a one block gap here. Uh, so it's like per row, 15 pistons, 15 observers. And mostly because yeah, one of those did not go. Let's see if that floats up. It did. Mostly that's because of the redstone limitations. So this way, all pistons fire at once. If you had it longer, some pistons are going to fire, and then the, those other ones won't fire until one of those grows three high. So you could make it longer, but this is just more redstone-y efficient. Everything fires at once. The whole row fires at once. Um, see if we can stand here long enough. So you just keep going up as high as you want, and then he has it built up on the other side too, in the collection in the middle. So pretty neat. And ob pistons and observers are not that expensive. And then there's 15 pieces of redstone behind it, and that's all there is to it. You just keep stacking it up, get you some kelp from the ocean, and you're good to go. And like you said. Next row, you just put kelp right on top of these. That row of blocks, put pistons on top of that. Observers above it. Back behind the redstone on the block. You got to put a row of blocks behind. Uh, when you put the pistons here, and then there'll be... Whoa. There goes kelp. Anyway. No sense in going into detail about that. It's perfectly wonderful. Those clouds look terrible. It's perfectly wonderful uh, just build it and forget it you got kelp and then you got to smelt it all but it's collecting pretty good uh, and that's just a little afk room and 
a doorway to maintenance. You can't can't really maintenance anything. Yeah, this swimming stuff is pretty neat. If you do get into swim mode, I've been enjoying this. And you come up to the edge and you jump just perfect. You just fly out of the water. Pretty neat. So this is obviously an iron pop, I mean a poppy farm. <laughs> uh, this design only called for six, 12 doors on in each corner. And eventually I got to get 10 villagers on each corner. I think I'm just going to add more doors across here just in case it helps the efficiency. But once I get the villager breeder, I'll boat them over and then kick them out of the boat and they'll stand here. And I've got water up there ready. And in this version, when you have down flowing water, the villagers will just swim right up and they'll float up there. So when you get enough up there, then you can just put that slab back, um, take the water out and they'll settle right in. So should be easy, hoping. Just got to get, you know, 20 villagers bred up and keep them safe until I can get them over here. But yeah, see, that's a little bit uphill from here and I can, I've got a kind of a path and I'm going to boat them across the land and across the water. And there's another one right there ready to go to get them up into the air there. If it's not very efficient, I will, uh, I'll light up some caves and maybe take out that island over there too. Um, or just, I could just light it up. But this is my nether wart, obviously. Just thought that looked fine. This thing's pretty cool. You can, If you want a lot of cactus, you can stack this up as far as you want. It takes four hopper mine carts. And let's see, we got one, two, three. I don't know how many that is. Those are just furnaces. One, two, three, four. And as you go up, you just need uh, one more hopper and four hopper mine carts. So five hoppers and a mine cart, sand and cactus, and building blocks around the outside. So you can go up as high as you want and get lots of cactus for that. So there's my iron farm ready to go. Breeder. Uh, like I said, the nether is terrible with that uh, lava ocean. But I've found a way around. I went up and uh, into the ceiling and right at the roof and, and tunneled through. and So I can get over to my villages pretty good, pretty quickly. We're going to do that soon. Um, let's see. This is my nice little horse. See? See, I don't really need that. I'll probably pick it right back up. But let's get these back in place. And see if we can, uh, yeah, we're just going to wind up picking all that up. Yep. There we go. See if we can just ride this horse on over and we'll check out the skeleton farm. I spent so much time over there and I got so many bone blocks that um, it's at least looks decent in there. But way to the north, I think it is. Yeah, to the north, I've got a. I found a mending guy that's like 14 emeralds, so it's not not expensive at all, really. Especially since I have a farmer, but I found a farmer way in the south village. So I was going super far south, trading with the farmer, you know, getting about 30 emeralds and then going and getting a couple of mending books. And now I've got uh, all my tools men mending except my bow and all my armor mended up. So let's get off here. Yeah, here's one of the swamps this is not the biggest one and it doesn't have a witch hut um there's two more swamps i've ran across traveling but i haven't necessarily found a witch hut yet so that's a big project to make those kind of farms anyway that that uh what do you call it yeah the poppy farm was it was tough enough got this little bug where I'm eating steak and you get saturation is just not right 
I'm getting hungry too fast. Um, I've got so many arrows, and I've been making bone blocks and bows, and this is all different types of armor. This is just blocks, and so anyway, my spawner's in there. The skeletons come up here with a water dealy bopper. I think one gets stuck constantly right there. It's because there's a way to do that. If you drop it down, um, I don't care about that. One getting stuck, it gets pushed through the next round. So let's see, if I stand right here, we should be able to see some skeletons fly up our elevator. One, two. That was a, only a two batch. Oh, there's another one. Three. <laughs> so they probably all went through there. It spawns pretty quick. And yeah, there's another batch just spawned. It'll be coming through just one second. This is giving me all my levels. Not the fastest, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Come on, skeletons. Where are you? I just saw that one. There goes some more. But yeah, the water, the oceans are definitely more interesting. I found some treasures, some boats. Some... Whoa, there goes more skeletons. Two, three. Can we get four? No, not on that round. So we got another enchanter. Got some uh, anvils. This is just where I heave ho, whatever. This is actually a, what do you call it, mine shaft. And there we go. You can uh, throw those up there. Got enough of this stuff. <laughs> so this is my leveling. This is all I got so far for getting levels. Um, I suppose I'll do either a gold farm or a enderman farm or both eventually, but some caves there. I got everything real lit up here. Well, and it's not the easiest to get in and out of here, but I hear my freezer running in the background. This horse does only jumps two and a half blocks on a perfect jump or something like that. I don't know. I've only tested for two. The other one jumps a little better, but uh, this one, I don't know if it's any faster. It looks really funny when they run. Um, it actually doesn't feel very fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast. They're about the same speed. The other one jumps better, but the other one likes to basically run off constantly so I got sick of got sick of him her whichever you Goldie that's right you run off all the dang time and this one tends to stay in place better but it may be just the leash and where I park it and you're trying to run off too get back here just horse mechanics. They like horsing around. So I need to go to the end. Um, the end is way up north. I showed you where that portal's at. No big deal there. I've got all kinds of cool stuff ready to go, but I'm ready to go to the end to kill the dragon and get uh, get some wings going, I guess you could say. Shut the door, pal. Um, yeah, so that's where my AFK fishing stuff comes down. And I did have another villager right here, but moved him down. So This is it. This is Dad Corp. And it's a good start. And I've been playing way too much, like I said, on my own and having too much fun. But when we go to the end portal, I'm going to stop by the ocean and take a swim in there because it pretty cool. I haven't found a good, um, not kelp, but the, uh, coral. 
I haven't found a good, I haven't found the world's smallest coral biome in the world. <laughs> it's tiny little, so I got a few corals from it, but I haven't found a big coral section. But. All right, so I'm just clicking uh, the smack button. <laughs> so anyway, this, uh, this is Dad. Produce videos. Mark Allen checking in. Um, next up is the End Dragon. I want to try that. See if we can get some wings after that, and uh, check out some ocean oceanography, and uh, see the wildlife: dolphins, turtles, tropical fish. Kind of cool. Better than I thought. I thought it would suck. I thought it would be ruined. Mechanics and it's not ruined. It's a lot of fun. This has uh, been Mark Allen, like I said, Dad Produce Videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.